Hello everybody, it's me Lysimmer. So <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a Dragon Valley overview. So this uh, this world was released from the Sims 3 store like just a few minutes ago and I'm so excited to get into this. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the standard and gold edition bundle and then I'm going to read the little thingy right here. <laughs> this The town description and then I'm going to do an overview of the town. So the standard version is $25 USD standards. When you purchase this, you get 100 sim points to go along with it, kind of like they did with Monte Vista. And then if you buy the $35 gold version, you get uh, 1,900 sim points uh, to purchase the venue that is, I guess, connected to Dragon Valley, which is like a, I forget what it's called, it's some renaissance thing. I don't know. But let me go ahead and read you guys this Dragon Valley description. Welcome to Dragon Valley, a land of myth and fantasy. It's been years since any adult dragons have terrorized this peaceful town, but it's not yet time to rest. The 11 sims of Dragon Valley are... <laughs> 11, what? Are working to ensure that their military is up to par, their citizens are prepared for disaster, and that the scientific techniques that they've used to keep the dragon nigglings <laughs> small stay intact. The skies may be clear for now, but beneath the surface, a conflict is brewing between the Melthrillian and the O'Connell families for, <laughs> for control of the town. It's tradition versus progress. Which side will you stand? So basically, this town was infested by huge dragons, and they use science to keep the dragons little babies. So we're not working with, like, huge dragons here. We're working with baby dragons. So let's get into the world, and I'll see you guys when we're there. Okay, so here's Dragon Valley. This is my first time ever looking at it. I'm super excited. <laughs> wow. Okay. I love the medieval type of theme to it. That's so pretty. Ah! Oh. Okay. Wow. I'm so excited. Um, first thing I notice is the roads. The roads look pretty awesome. And this right here, whatever that is, that's freaking awesome. Um, <laughs> okay, so, um, let's go ahead and enter Create a Sim, because there is some new Create a Sim outfits. I'm real fastly gonna go through that, because who really wants to sit there and watch me scroll through all this content. I'm going to do that really fast and just do a quick overview of them. <laughs> okay, so there's two new hairs for the female. You have this hair, which is like a bob type thing. I don't know. Um, it's pretty. It's full. It kind of looks like this one, kind of, just a little bit, but without the curls. Um, and then we have this short haircut, which... I love. Um, I saw it on the Sims 3 store. I really, really like it. I, I'm surprised because usually I'm not into short hair, but I do like it just because I don't know why I like it this much. It's pretty, but I think I'm going to go with this one for a change. Uh, use something different, so I do like the hairs, especially this one. It's really, really cute. And my cake now in mid July. And you and I were forever wild. But my aching soul. Crazy dragon eyes. I thought it fit the theme. <laughs> I 
I feel like it fit the theme. Um, <laughs> okay, so, um, Okay, so this is one of the tops right here. It is very medieval. I love the little hood on it. That's really cute. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not in love with it, but I do think it's super duper cute. Like, I would probably not use it, though. Unless I am in Dragon Valley. That's probably about the only time I would use it. Then we have this top right here. Um, it has, like, a pendant, which I think is really cute. Don't mind, you know, her, her workout shoes and her her little sweatpants, but I do think this is cute. I love the pendant, but once again, probably would only use this if I'm playing in a medieval themed world like Dragon Valley, so that's, that's that. Um, I don't knew, no, I don't think this came with it. That didn't come with it. What am I talking about? Um, I think that's it for tops, and if that did come with it, oops. <laughs> Oh well, I don't think it did though. But yeah, I like this one with like the combination of the pink and I also really like this one. I don't know, just little things. So let's head into the other stuff. Here is one dress and can I just say that I am in love with it? I don't know why I love this so much. I think it's because it's strapless with those like arm things. I don't know, I am in love with this dress. I want to, I, oh my gosh. This is so pretty, especially if I could, like, customize it to make it, like, a white dress. I would use this as a wedding attire for my medieval Dragon Valley Sims. I love it so much. I, I, I do. I think that is just, wow. Okay. <laughs> On to the other dresses. Also, sorry if my voice is, like, cracking and stuff. I just woke up. Um, mm, looking, looking, looking. <laughs> This dress. Okay, this is so freaking pretty. I can't get over this dress. Not exactly with those shoes, but anyways, this dress. I can use this anywhere, to be honest with you. I see myself using this in all my gameplay. Like, any gameplay, any town. I think it is so luxurious. I love the belt um, that cinches it all together. I'm in love. Please, EA, if you are watching this make more stuff like this because it is so stylish you know it, i don't know it's just real cute okay real cute <laughs> uh this dress which is pretty cool i love the cutouts so you can see her skin to me that's pretty awesome uh i love the braided detailing on it and i love the choker necklace i think this dress is unique and i do like it um very unique i think that's it i think that is it no, this dress. Uh, this dress is not my favorite. <laughs> I can tell you that just by looking at it. I'm not really going to use this. It's not like it's super ugly. It's just not my cup of tea. It's just something I personally wouldn't put on my Sims. Um, even if they lived in a medieval world, unless they were an elder. If they were an elder, maybe. <laughs> but it's not my cup of tea. This is more or less more of my style for my medieval Sims. Yeah. So, that's it for female. Let's head into male. Okay, so here is some of the tops for men. There was no hair or anything, I'm pretty sure. But here's the top for men. Oh my god, there goes that damn dog! <laughs> um, here's the top. It's like an armor type of thing. Um, it's pretty neat. I like it in plaid. That's really cute. Oh, that's so cute in plaid. I love it in plaid. Um, so yeah, this is that we got this top right here which ooh is very sexy <laughs> i love it especially on him i love this belt it's okay just yes okay that's all i'm gonna say to this is yes i love it <laughs> um and i think there's a skirt for men yeah you know 
okay, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> it's, I guess it's like an Irish thing, you know, what they do in Irish, so I, I guess that's cool. Um, I know this town, they didn't say, you know, during the streams, but it has a little bit, to me anyways, a little bit of Irish influence in it uh, from watching that stream. Um, that was on the 23rd, so let's see if there's any new outfits. I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> there is. Um, so here's this. Um, I'm not in love with it. I mean, I guess it follows the theme, but I just really love the outfit. Except, no, I love it in this color. That is so freaking cute. I love it in this color. I do, I do, what's do. Okay, so I believe that's it for outfits. If I missed anything, sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> so I'm just really excited to head into the world. So let's head into Dragon Valley. Okay, so we do have a lot of starter homes uh, to start off with. I see quite a few. Quite a few. Uh, which is great. Better than like in Supernatural when I opened that damn world and there was like two houses to pick from. Um, a lot of empty lots, which is also really nice, but I'm just going to go ahead and quickly pick one of these houses just so we can explore the world. I'll pick this one because it's in town center. I'll buy it purchased. I mean, uh, furnished and let's just go. I am super excited right now, guys. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go ahead and explore this world. First, let's just take a look at our house. Um, oh, our house is very, it's really, really simple, but I love the color scheme. I do, I do. I'm going to probably end up liking everything, just a warning, just because I'm one of those people. Uh, here is the, what the hell is this? Oh, the diner and the grocery store. Okay, not too impressed. I mean, I do like how you can see, like, food and stuff in the window, but other than that, I mean, it's it's okay. And why was there a car? This is medieval world. Why did I just see a car? Anyways, um, there's the diner and grocery store. Here is... What is that? What did I just see? Oh, is that... What? I've never seen this in any of my games before. What is that? I am so confused. Did, what? Is that the school bus for this town? I mean, I am so confused. It must be. It, it has to be something. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I've seen that before, but at the same time, I don't feel like I've seen it before. That makes any sense. Um, here is the business uh, hall. It's pretty. I mean, nothing too special. Uh, here is the criminal... Not criminal. Uh, police and military base, right? Yeah. It's really pretty, actually. I love this. This is super pretty. I give them credits. Uh, history gallery. Wait, what? Okay, mascot, go away. Honestly, right now, no. Here is the um, beautiful gallery. I love that up there. That is super awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and take a, like, a little peek in it. Nothing on the top floor. Nice. Probably photos on the walls. Um, nice. Just a bunch of photos that are on the walls. Uh, this is... Here is the science facility um, at the top. That's really cool. <laughs> it's super pretty. I love it. It looks like a submarine, kind of. I don't know. It's super cool. <laughs> uh, here's a house that's, like, hidden by a bunch of trees. Um, the gym. The gym. We're going to have some really modern equipment in this medieval gym. Let's see. Yes. Um, of course. I mean, hello. We have some different colored skins. Uh, cause we're supposed to have elves in this town, but she's really pretty. Don't mind the facial expressions. <laughs> um, no, but, uh, we're supposed to have, like, a lot of elves in this town, which I think is pretty neat. Here's some elves. More elves. But, I mean, obviously, they're not new supernaturals, they're just sims that look like elves. Um, the library. Okay, what's going on? The library is really colorful. I like that, though. I like how colorful it is. I really like it. 
I love the, the dining set. That's awesome. Um, very colorful. I like it. Here's City Hall. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's nothing too special. Right here is, like, I guess Town Central. Once again, nothing that awesome, but, you know, whatever. I wanted to see this. What is this? This is awesome, okay? I don't even know what it's for, but it's awesome. And here's some rocks. Nice, EA. Nice. Ah, uh, we have, like, a dragon symbol right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. Here's the school up here. Oh, my God goodness the school is amazing I uh, wow okay this school is very very nice it's probably my favorite building that I've seen so far I think it is just beautiful beautiful some neighbors have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood oh dear god who came to my house I'm scared to see here is Alicion Walsh. Well, I'm pretty sure that who was supposed to come back in this town? I know that there was somebody. Um, it wasn't an Island Adventures. Island, not Island Adventures. Island Paradise. I'm not sure. I believe that the Burbs were supposed to come back, but whatever. Here's like your gardening place in the town. Uh, here's your my goodness i just had to tell everybody to like shut up because they will not stop uh here's the graveyard yeah it's pretty small but it does the job um i mean there's not too much to explore here is a pub <gasps> yes get over here let's see this pub <laughs> it's called mccaffrey's pub so we're going to head here and visit McCaffrey's Pub. That sounds pretty awesome. I mean, of course, I'm going to have to come in here and replace this with, like, a professional bar so we can get some legit bartenders going on in here. But, uh, for the most part, it's really neat. It kind of reminds me of Hogwarts, okay? I've never been huge on Harry Potter. I like it, but I've never been, like, huge on it. But it just reminds me of Hogwarts because of this table. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's random. I know. Um, upstairs, there's nothing, and then all the way up here is a dragon egg. <gasps> it's mine. It's mine. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. <laughs> it's mine now. A dragon egg. We're going to talk about, uh, we're going to gossip about love of fire, so maybe we'll get a fire, a fire dragon. I mean, I, I'm not sure how these dragon eggs exactly work. But I'm I'm taking it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Suck on that. I'm pretty sure that there was a um adoption place for um for dragons, but I don't know where that is. Is that the Civics Landing thing? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check. Um, here is the uh theater. Just neat. Uh, Dragon Tavern, maybe? Uh, this is a tavern, so of course not. But maybe we'll have some dragons in here, or some dragon eggs that we can steal. I don't know. Let's see. I see absolutely nothing. Nothing. Oh, wait, there's a dragon egg right there. Taking that, too. <laughs> I'm just stealing all your dragon eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them all. Every dragon egg I see, I'm taking. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and actually edit the town real quick. And put in the... Where is it? Here it is. The Duke of Bows Renaissance Fair thingy. If that's how you pronounce it. Um, Is there anywhere to put it? You would think that they'd make a lot to place it. Um... I don't see a lot anywhere. That's just dumb. Any anyways. Um, how big is it? 40 by 40. Okay. 25 by 25. 20 by 20. Here's a 64 by 64, but that's pretty huge. There's a 30 by 30. Seriously? Seriously? Right now? Okay, here's a 40 by 40. We're going to change it to a community. 
we're going to make it a park. We'll just make it a big park just in case. I'm pretty sure it said it was a small park. Yeah. Ugh, seriously, you're going to force me to change it right now? So retarded. Okay. So we're going to place this here. I'm pretty sure this, this comes with two um, pretty ammo items. Uh, comes with a bow and arrow type thing and something else. I just can't. Oh, a violin. Uh, yes, a violin. Um, that's what it comes with. So this is pretty exciting. Okay, so my sim's going to go over there now. And, uh, oh wait, what's this? Mole Beach? I guess this is the beach. Okay, the water is freaking amazingly pretty. You guys see that? That's gorgeous. Um, so there's the beach, but let's go over there to the, uh, what the hell is it called? You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, this. The Duke of ba Bows Renaissance Fair. I don't know. Okay, it is super duper pretty. I'm just really excited to take part of these items. As you guys can see, this is a obviously a family place, so you can totally take kids here with the new playground equipment. Um, we can serve lunch on these new grills. These are awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to come. Okay, we see some Sims here. I see a violin. We're gonna go play traditional violin. Ah, I love it. Oh my gosh. Can can I just like die right now? Because this is too good. Okay, she sucks. But <laughs> of course, you'll get better as you go. But. Okay, put that down. You cannot play. <laughs> it is awesome though. Oh, we yeah, we're stealing it. Yeah, we can serenade Sims with it, which is also really cool. So we're gonna come uh, practice our archery skill. We're gonna do a basic shot. Uh, test this out. This is pretty neat. We have another Sim over here. A little grandma playing it. She must be awesome. Been playing it all her life, and her bows are flaming. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna take part of it as well. See how well we do. No, we're okay. I mean, ours aren't freaking moving like hers are. Hers are awesome. Okay, let's possibly die. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no new deaths with this, but maybe there is. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. That's probably what it is. Um, we're going to do an extreme shot, even though we're totally not going to get it because we suck, but... Go, go, go. I think we got it. This one's on fire. Uh, I don't think we got that one. Oh, we got two of them now? I don't even know. I don't know how this works. Okay. We're going to stop doing that now. Um... <laughs> Danielle scored zero. Nice. Um, okay, if we come upstairs, really nothing too neat. Nothing, nothing too neat. I do like the items, though. I really like it. Uh, we have one of the things upstairs. I do like this. I love the new bow and arrow thing. And, of course, violin. It's something you can add into any gameplay whatsoever because it doesn't really matter uh, what you got because it will... You can play it basically anywhere and it won't look weird. Um, so here's the community pool. Pretty neat. I'm going to have my sim go ahead and head home real fast. And I'm going to skip until I get some baby dragons. I'm going to figure it out real quick and uh, I'll get back to you guys once I got some baby dragons. <laughs> oh snap, it just said your dragon egg is about to hatch. I have two dragon eggs, so which one? I'm guessing the one that we talked to. It says dragon egg six minutes, dragon egg two hours. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm about to get some dragon babies. Here goes my here goes my little baby egg. And I got a purple dragon! Oh, oh my gosh, we're gonna go name that dragon so nobody can steal my dragon. We're gonna name it Coco, okay? 
even though that makes no sense. Go feed your freaking. Oh my gosh. I'm just. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I just dragged her little thingies up. Okay, we have a freaking dragon right now. We're gonna feed our little baby dragon. How's that taste, little dragon? What are you feeding him? I'm in love. I am in love. We're gonna talk to him about charisma, Coco. About our charisma. I think I'm in love. We have Mark of the Purple Dragon. Spending time with the Purple Dragon is like attending a never-ending party. I love him! We're gonna play with Coco. We're going to be the life of the party with Coco. So you can get your charisma skill up by just talking to Coco. Ooh, hiccup. <laughs> We're gonna play with Coco. Ah! I'm in love. Coco is like my new best friend. I'm in love. Like, they're so ugly that they're cute. Ooh, that was neat. Nice. There is no parties going on right now, so there's nothing to improve. So basically, I guess if we're at a party, we have, like, an awesome mood that, like, she can be the life of the party. Um, I'm going to let her go fly around a bit. Go, Coco. Go fly like you've never flied before. Go fly, Coco. Coco is so cute. I can't. I can't. It's like a parrot. And it's just way better. Fly, Coco. Fly. And our other dragon egg is about to hatch. Fly like never before. Coco. Fly. <laughs> Alright, Coco's off flying. And we are about to have our other dragon baby. Put that egg down. <laughs> this is exciting. It is a green one. The garden one. Ah, we're going to name him, or it, I guess. Mm. Harvey. <laughs> All these random names. Harvey, uh, we are going to feed him. Actually, no. We already know what the feeding looks like. We're going to summon a treasure. This video is probably going to be super duper long. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I guess we're going to go summon a treasure. Oh! Oh, God! Mark of the Green Dragon, the wise green dragon, has shown you that the meals and potty breaks are for the week. Okay, so he just basically gave us a awesome treasure. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And how much is that worth? 215 simoleons. Awesome, Harvey. Um, we're going to talk to Harvey about gardening. That will basically just level up your gardening. Um, obviously. Just like it was with the charisma with the purple dragon. Um, and I know that this dragon will harvest all your harvestables. It will basically take care of everything. So I'm going to go tell Harvey to go harvest some plants. Mm -hmm. Go, Harvey. Go. Look at him. He's so cute. I can't get over him. Um, basically, there's none over here, but you can have him harvest your plants, which I think is awesome. Um, so we're going to put Harvey in our inventory, and I'm going to go ahead and skip until daytime, because uh, I'm going to go find the red and black dragon. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I just spent basically the whole sim day trying to get a black dragon, and it's just not happening. Um, basically what the black dragon can do is it's all about death and stuff. You can get your logic skill up, you can summon, you know, death flowers. I'm pretty sure you can make people zombies, or you can re- uh, whatever the hell it's called, you know, bring people back from the dead. Um, but I got every other dragon. <laughs> I got the fire dragon, and I literally have, like, a dragon farm happening right now, because I'm pretty sure I have over eight dragons just chilling at my house. Um, but, look, there's even more in my inventory. Yeah. Okay, so, 
We're going to talk to Fire, which is the name of our red dragon, uh, convenient. We're going to talk to Fire about our athletic skills. So basically, if you have a Fire Sim, I mean a uh, red dragon, he will help you get up your um, athletic skill. Uh, we can cast Fiery Torment on Sims and shoot fireballs at Sims, which I think is pretty freaking neat. So I think I'm going to come over to like the park or something. Uh, real fast, because uh, this video is going to be ending. Uh, I think I'm going to head over to, like, a park and just start killing people. Just start going at them. Well, not killing them, but definitely, definitely taking some victims. Um, maybe Town Square? No? Really? <laughs> no, but they're, the dragons are pretty freaking cool. I'm actually I like them more than I than I thought I would. Um, they're they're more interesting than I thought that they would be. I also love the violin. I think that's awesome. I don't know. I actually like Dragon Valley more than I thought I would. Um, it's actually very enjoyable. So do I recommend Dragon Valley? I would say if you have the extra money laying around, definitely. Um, if you are into mythical things, I'm not really into mythical things, and I still like this. But if you are into myth mythical things, I totally recommend this. If you're like me, and you just wanted it to add to your collection, then you know what? Hey, whatever. Um, I actually really, really like it. Do I think the gold edition's worth the $35? It's overpriced. It is, of course. I mean, isn't everything from The Sims 3 store? Just about. Um, I do, I would purchase the $35 bundle again, just because it is, um, it comes with, like, a violin, it comes with a black dragon, and it comes with that bow thingy, so, I personally, I would do it again, but that's my opinion, so, <laughs> I don't know if you would, but I know I will, if I ever had to do that again, which I don't think I would. What am I talking about? Um, I do like it, so, yeah, I, I would recommend it. I like it more than Aurora Skies. <laughs> I'll be using this town more than Aurora Skies, for sure. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview. It's, it's, you know, it's a life summer overview. It's, it makes no sense ever. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys so much. Bye, guys.